Hello, and welcome to Storytime with Miss J. Are you having an awesome Wednesday? If you're having an awesome Wednesday, high five the person next to you. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I'm so glad so many of you are having awesome Wednesdays. Now, I'm Miss J, but I really want to know all of your names. Say your name really loud so we can hear it, okay? Go. Ah, oh, okay, so we have Emily, and Grace, and Christopher, and Charlie, and William, and Kevin, and Timmy, and Theodore, and Helene, and Lisa. Oh, I'm so glad all of you could join us today. Today, we'll be reading A Peacock Among Pigeons, written by Tyler Curry, illustrated by Carleone Gutierrez. Ooh, and look at this fabulous peacock and all those pigeons. Mmm. My name is Peter and I was born a peacock. Don't ask me how it happened, but somehow, some way, I grew up in a flock of pigeons. And being a peacock in a family of pigeons isn't easy at all. You see, pigeons don't always like others who are different. Sometimes pigeons can treat other birds like they're not good enough just because they don't look the same or fly the same. They can call them names and make them feel like they are strange, weird, or they don't belong. Aww. My pigeon flock thought I walked funny. They thought I talked funny. And they said my feathers were too colorful for a boy bird like me. And when you grow up with no other peacocks around, it can be easy to think they're right. Does anybody else get made fun of because of the way they walk or talk? I know that Miss J, because she danced all growing up, she walks with her feet turned out. And she was actually told one time in high school, you walk like a bird or you walk like a chicken. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so. Be proud of how you walk and how you talk and don't let other people make fun of you just because you're different. I spent a long time hiding my colorful feathers and pretending I was a pigeon. I tucked my feathers away and covered myself with mud and dirt to hide my bright colors. I walked upright like a pigeon. I puffed out my chest like a pigeon and I kept my tail from swishing and swaying so no one would notice how different I was. But it was no use. Hmm. Whenever I relaxed, one of my flashy feathers would slip out. Everyone would notice, point, and laugh. That's never fun. Again, Miss J went through that too. And if you're going through that too, I'm so sorry. And also, continue to be just who you are. Okay? My pigeon friends would call me names and they would pretend to walk like me and make fun of my voice. Even though I acted like them, any beak with two eyes could see I didn't belong. Never let your friends make fun of who you are because really, if your friends are making fun of who you are, they're not really your friends. One day when no pigeons were around, I walked by a puddle and looked at my reflection. The bird I saw looking back was an ugly bird who was flashy, flamboyant, and embarrassing. Aww. I hope none of you ever look at yourself in the mirror and think you're ugly or embarrassing because I promise all of you are not ugly and you are not embarrassing. You are all beautiful, special people. <laughs> I thought my blues were too blue. My greens were too green, and my gold hues were far too girly for a boy bird to have. I believed what the other pigeons said, and I didn't like the bird staring back at me. But there was no use trying to be a pigeon because I'd never be able to change my feathers. It was time to fly out on my own. At first, my journey was a lonely one. But one day, 
I met a cardinal named Craig. He was sassy and bold. He told me funny stories that made me laugh and laugh. He didn't seem to mind being around a peacock like me. Oh, I love when my friends just make me laugh and laugh. <laughs> Craig introduced me to his canary friend, Sarah. Sarah was very friendly and had a sing-song voice that made me smile. Do any of you have friends with sing-songy voices or you just love to perform or sing with them? I feel like those friends are always so much fun. <laughs> Do you know what she told me? She thought my feathers were beautiful. Oh, I love friends like that, that accept you for who you are and embrace you and support you. So beautiful, in fact, she wanted to introduce me to Owen the Owl. Owen was smart. Owen was sophisticated. Owen moved like no bird I had ever seen before. He said he liked the way I moved too. Do any of you have friends like Owen the Owl who are smart and sophisticated? Or maybe you're that friend. All kinds of friends are the best kind of friends. Hmm. Craig, Sarah, and Owen introduced me to more of their friends, each unique and beautiful in their own way. Oh. <laughs> there was Fanny, the flamingo. Ooh, flamingo. <laughs> Who made even me feel plain and ordinary with her dazzling pinks and whites. There was Henry, the hummingbird, who never finished a sentence before fluttering away. <laughs> there was Benny, the blue jay, who was the fastest bird I had ever seen. And there was Penny, the parrot, who was very nice and loved to talk. <laughs> Those sound like awesome friends. <laughs> Do you guys have any friends like that? <laughs> there were so many different birds. Some bold, some sweet, some smart, and some funny. But each one was special in their own way. Ooh, now that you guys learned the names of the different birds, I want to quiz you guys. So, what kind of bird is that? That's right, a flamingo. And what kind of bird is Craig? You guys are so smart, that's right, he's a cardinal. What kind of bird is Sarah? Smarty pants, <laughs> yeah, she's a canary. And then how about, how about Benny? It's kind of easy, because let's look at the color. Oh, so he's blue. So Benny is a blue, that's right, blue jay. And then we have Owen. Who, who is Owen? <laughs> That's right, Owen the Owl. <laughs> Silly Miss J. And then who's on Owen's head? <gasps> Henry the Hummingbird. That's right. And last we have Penny the, <gasps> that's right, Parrot. Good job, friends at home. <laughs> on one very special day. I came upon a beautiful bird I had never seen before. He had the brightness of yellow, like Sarah, my canary friend, and the boldness of blue, like Benny the Blue Jay. His tail swished back and forth like he was dancing, and his feathers had a beautiful starry glow. On the very top of his head, he had a funny crown of feathers that fluttered about. He was the most beautiful bird I had ever seen. I just had to take a closer look. So I took a few steps closer, but the beautiful bird disappeared. Instead, I saw the ripples of the puddle I had just stepped in. <gasps> I wonder who it was. <gasps> I squinted my eyes in disbelief. It was my own reflection. Could it really be me? For so long, I saw what the pigeon saw. And although my feathers never changed, I saw myself differently after meeting new birds who were special and liked me for the peacock I am. I wasn't just a silly blue bird with flashy feathers and a funny walk. My flamboyant tail, filled with bright colors, no longer embarrassed me. And I didn't want to be like the rest of my pigeon flock. I was happy to be me. Whether you are as bright as a canary, 
as cool as a cardinal, or as flashy as a flamingo, your feathers are what make you special. So embrace who you are from beak to bird feet and never let anyone break your stride. And always remember to love the feathers you were born with. Peter the Peacock. <laughs> and in the back of the book, our lovely author and illustrator have notes. <laughs> and the end. Haven't had your fill of story time yet? Well, you're in luck. Check out my past videos where we have read awesome, fun stories. Man, was today's episode so much fun. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye!